Moonlight Princess here. Uh, it's def I told you guys, I promised you guys that I was going to start doing videos more often and more about different things. So, yeah, got some Frank Sinatra going on. One of the things that I did when trying to grow up my hair previously was back in 2012, I was taking biotin um, vitamins, which was this product right here. Nature's Bounty Hair, Skin, and Nails. This was 220 tablets. I bought these from BJ's, which is sort of like Costco's. It was, it was hard, but I took them every day along with Do Grow. I don't have any more Do Grow products anymore, but it's supposed to be specifically made just for African Americans. But being that I'm mixed and I have African American blood and jeans in me. I just took that to grow out my hair. So that's how I grow out my hair from here to here in approximately five months. And that's taking it every day. That was fixing my diet. That was drinking a lot of water. So I highly encourage you guys to stick to whatever ways that you're trying to grow out. Just you have to stick to it. Like, it doesn't matter if it's just hair vitamins or if it's just the multivitamin. Personally speaking, I couldn't take my multivitamins because it was it was messing up my stomach so bad, like I just felt like crap. Um, it was 2014 and I cut it because, you know, females, we go through a drastic change and said, you know, snip, snip, cut it all off and I like it. I like having short hair. I think that it makes me feel more confident and makes me feel older. It just gives me that little boost that I need, but waking up with bed hair is not the greatest feeling in the world. I miss being able to wrap my hair easy and just put a scarf on go to work the next day and it'd be perfectly fine but now it's become a, a hassle in consistently having to use products all the time so if your hair is very damaged I highly suggest that you stop dyeing it and you stop applying so much heat which is why I'm now going to be growing out my hair my goal is to have my hair long enough prior to deployment so I have a little bit of time to be able to do it so that's the goal I just hear that it's it's better to have longer hair versus short hair because once your hair starts growing, all of this back here is going to look a hot mess. Like when I was growing it out before a couple of months back, it looked hurt. And then when I went home on leave, I just said, whatever, I was looking hurt and I needed my hair cut. To my fellow pixies out there, it's hard, but if you want to grow out your hair, you can do it. It's hard, but it's so worth it. It's so gonna be worth it again, you know. Uh, and besides, by the time my hair will grow at least to a bob, it'll be around December time frame. The product that I used before, like I said, it was Nature's Bounty, and it is cheaper. It has this was a large packet, um, well a large container. Um, this was 5,000 mcg of biotin, and now I took the leap. I took a leap of faith and decided to take Hair Infinity. Now, uh, Hair Affinity is a lot fatter than these pills, but from what I hear, Hair Affinity does wonders, so I said, let me give it a try. Now, I hear that it messes up your skin, but I also think that it depends on your ethnicity and your diet. So, I'm trying to shy away from drinking a lot of soda. I don't, I don't really drink soda anyway, but shying away from drinking soda, trying to stay away from, like, fast foods. So... It's really just a lot of water, especially being a Hale Moore, you have no choice but to drink a lot of water. But anyway, Hair Infinity is a dietary supplement. This approximately doesn't say how much is in it. So this is 500 mcg. This is a pink bottle. Wow, it only has a little bit. It only has 25 mcg, but it has a whole bunch of other vitamin stuff. I might end up just going back to this, but I'm taking a leap of faith with Hair Infinity. And what sucks the most about when I see these before and after videos of um, or pictures of people taking Hair Infinity, it's mostly people that already have a medium length of hair. I feel like for my fellow Pixians, you know, it's hard because we want to be able to grow out our hair, but over a certain time, all we see is just from like here to here you know the process for it to grow back completely in uh, my previous video you can see that my hair was down to here now look how short it is now so taking a leap of faith with hair infinity this is just one 
amount and I think this is ridiculously expensive and those are really cheap and they look like more but leap of faith with hair infinity one of the ways that I was styling my hair was using this brand right here it's called sexy hair when I first got my hair cut the the stylist she gave me the remaining amount or whatever to use for it and it did wonders like amazing wonders straight sexy you just put it in your hair and then you blow it out with it but like I said as well using all those products it just like it hurt bad it hurt my hair bad I decided to go the expensive route in buying organic stuff or organic like things so right here this is biotin and collagen I think I'm saying it right maybe collagen shampoo and conditioner I noticed that when you're taking shampoo and conditioner and other types of products that have biotin in it along with biotin vitamins, it speeds up the process. That's why I was able to grow out my hair fast enough from being, like I said, from this length to this length in five months. It smells kind of good. A high performance blend with vitamin B7 biotin. It infuses nutrients into every strand while collagen and some other stuff. I also recommend using shampoo as much as everybody's against it. I feel like somebody like me who has to consistently put product in their hair, whenever I'm washing my hair, it doesn't make any sense to put conditioner in your hair along with the grease and residue and product that's been left already. So it doesn't really make much sense. I'm also using this, which is Root Boost Spray, also biotin and collagen. It's from Formerly Organics. Beauty, pure, and simple. Yes. So, I've been applying it to my hair when it's damp because when I spray it, it kind of feels like it's dripping down. So, my hair is really thin. And it feels, and it smells kind of good too. I like stuff that smells good. This is my before video in a couple of months. More, probably if you guys watch my videos and stuff, you'll be able to see over time about the length of my hair. I'm going to try. I'm going to thoroughly try because I did not spend X amount of money on these products. Just to just stop it so this is to help you guys out you know if you have any questions or comments feel free to ask me at the bottom I'll put a glimpse of the picture right here hopefully if I can learn how to do a Final Cut Pro to my Instagram and Snapchat which is Nicosizana91 yes I know it's hard to say it's African my dad is very Afrocentric when my sisters and I were born so he gave us all middle African names so mine is Nicosizana it's N-K-O-S-A-Z-A-N-A-9-1. -A -A so, that's my Instagram and that's my Snapchat. For my YouTube, it's a little different because I made it back in like 2006, so it was a very long time ago. But anyway, just feel free to leave any questions, comments, or concerns right at the bottom. And be sure to like, subscribe, whatever you guys want to do. You know, I'm here to help.